Good morning and welcome to the video for Thursday, May the 7th. This is going to be for fourth grade covering our new lesson that we are working on today. So today we are working with metric units of length. And so when we are working with the metric system, we are working with uh, what I will relate to you next year as being uh, powers of 10. So um, everything is 10 times greater than the next thing. So meters, are 10 times greater than decimeters. Ten, uh, decimeters are 10 times greater than centimeters. Centimeters are 10 times greater than milliliters. So um, as we look on the chart on the next page, we'll kind of talk about that a little bit more and what that's going to mean for you um, for doing things that we're going to be doing in fifth grade working with math. So um, to start with, <clears throat> we are going to say that a meter is 10 times longer than one decimeter. A decimeter is 10 times as long as one centimeter, and a centimeter is 10 times as long as one milliliter, and our, uh, sorry, millimeter. Uh, the pattern that we're going to see, we're working with powers of 10. Um, and so we're gonna see that anything with the metric system, we are working with powers of 10. So if we wanted to compare uh, one meter to the size of one centimeter, um, we would get, 100 centimeters to get one meter. So that means a meter is going to be 100 times larger. So one meter is 100 times longer than one centimeter. So here is our chart and you guys are going to uh, get used to seeing this. There are some additional things when we go to larger than one meter, which you will do next year um, and going into sixth grade as well. So um, if we have two meters and we are going to centimeters, we're going to look at our chart. So one meter is worth 100 centimeters. So two meters would be worth 200 centimeters. And so one of the reasons why I like the metric system is we have an easy conversion uh, from one thing to another. We don't have to remember uh, there are this many of this and of this. It's always going to be powers of 10. So um, three centimeters, our centimeter is going to be worth 10 millimeters. So we can multiply by 10 to get our number of millimeters, and that would be 30. Uh, number three, decimeters. To centimeters, we are going to have one decimeter being 10 centimeters, so we can multiply by 10 to get 50. Uh, from here out, I'm just going to do the odds uh, just to save a little bit of time until we get down toward the bottom. So number five, centimeters to millimeters. So a centimeter is 10 times larger than a millimeter, and so we are going to have five centimeters being greater than five millimeters. Um, a meter is going to be 1,000 times larger than a millimeter. So seven meters would give us 7,000 millimeters. Uh, so this one would also be greater since our value here would be worth 7,000 millimeters. And this one's only worth 700. Uh, 47 uh, centimeters. So if we were to write that out as a fraction, we would be doing parts over 100. And so we can take our number here, put that as a fraction over 100, and then the equivalent decimal uh, value of that would be a decimal point followed by 47. So 47 hundredths written as a fraction and as a decimal. Um, decimeters. So if we have uh, one meter being worth 10 decimeters, we are going to be working with each decimeter being one tenth of a meter. So two of those we would have a fraction that would be two over 10. And then our decimal value for that would be 0.2. And then uh, going on to here, uh, number 12, a new building is 25 meters tall. We can multiply our number of meters by 10 to get the answer. And that would give us 250 decimeters. And so one of the things, once we get to next year, it's going to be really important to remember the abbreviations because one of our other ones going the other way will be DECA and it's DK instead of DM. Um, 
so next year when we have to do this, uh, get ready for a little bit of confusion because uh, I still get confused sometimes on which abbreviation I'm supposed to be using because uh, I'll say one thing and then accidentally do the other. So number 13, um, I'll do this one real quick, even though this isn't one of the ones that was assigned for Myers and Christ students. Um, Alexis is knitting a blanket that's two meters long. Every two decimeters, she changes the shape of the color to make stripes. How many stripes will we have? So a decimeter is one tenth of a meter. So if I have um, two meters, then I'm going to have 20 decimeters. And so I will change um, technically uh, 19 times. Well, so here would be our original color. And then I'm going to do this 19 more times. So I'm going to do that uh, 20 times for 40 decimeters. Um, so this would be one color. So yeah, we could technically count that as being a color. Um, since we are going to uh, do that. Oops. And uh, let's talk about the homework real quick. So Risen Christ students, you are going to be working on the even numbers, which go down the left-hand side of the page. And then uh, number 12. Um, number 14, this is the one that I want to talk about. So it says, find a measurement in centimeters of an object. It can be whatever you want. However, make sure that you can actually find the value. So it suggests looking through books, magazines, or on the internet. So if you don't know, let's say I want to use my uh, trombone practice mute uh, or warm up mute, and I wanted to find the length of this in centimeters, I'm probably going to have to go online and look up this particular model of um, by the company that made it, um, to figure out what the measurement is. So that's what that means. It doesn't mean that you have to use a book or use a magazine or use the internet. If you already know the measurement, you don't need to worry about that part. Um, so uh, let's take a look and then uh, we're gonna do number one and number two. I will cover all of the uh, things. So this part here um, for number six was something from a lesson that I'm skipping with you guys um, because we will spend enough time uh, in fifth and sixth grade working with uh, this kind of thing that I didn't want to take an entire day uh, to review that. Uh, we did that in third grade. So those are the uh, problems that I would like my students to look at for the homework. If you have any questions about the lesson uh, or the homework, please feel free to ask uh, in Google Classroom if you're a Risen Christ student or reach out to uh, your classroom teacher if you are finding our video in a different way. So hope you have a great day. The homework uh, video for this will come out on Friday morning, as will the new lesson. And then the uh, homework for that lesson will come out at 6 p.m. on Friday night. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.